Hey, this is Adam with Tech Dive AV Club. We're in Vegas Pro 19, and today we're going to talk about the Range Limited Color Wheels, one of the new features of Vegas Pro 19. And this is available to all the versions. So, uh, first off, let's take a look here. I just got some stock footage, uh, you know, because I can do that now. Let's go Alt G to open up the color grading panel. This is a waveform uh, chart, and it's essentially a chart of where all your values are, your brightness values and your color values in the composite mode, just your brightness values as luminance, um, but where all the different values lay on a chart. Now this one's been previously color corrected because when they submitted it for stock footage a lot of times people pretty it up. Uh, and as you can tell because it's kind of nicely stops right there at 100 like somebody who knew what they were doing made the highs stop right there at 100 so it didn't blow out the screen. If you want to know more about all of these tools I cover them in my color correcting tutorial uh, and color grading tutorial, both of them. I talk about these tools a lot. Um, the thing I didn't talk about, it's the thing we didn't have, was the range limited color wheels. So this is kind of like, if you remember the secondary color corrector, it's a little bit more like the secondary color corrector because it has some limiting and stuff that can happen. We'll look at the RGB parade too for a second. So you see the, the blues and the greens and the reds and stuff. Um, this is this is where they're, you can, you can combine them too, but um, this is where you can see the different values on the on the same chart, uh, but over the color values instead of the brightness values. Um, and when you mess with the range limited color wheels, it does some funky things. So f first off, let's do some comparisons. Uh, and these are good things. These are good things. It gives you it's another tool in your tool palette that lets you do a lot of cool stuff. So in the normal color wheels, this is how normal color grading you know, works. Just a super, super soft reminder. Remember, if you're not new to this topic, please check out my other video. You know, this affects the low colors and I'm doing extremely. You would never, ever, I've never seen anyone do this in a, in a real scenario. Never. Uh, unless you're just trying to, the only time I've ever like pushed something off like that is when I'm like, trying to do maskings and something and I need to like isolate brightness values and you know you could chroma key that blue and then you get a bunch of weird patterns so anyway unless you're doing something weird uh, you uh, usually you just kind of gently push it but for the to show you when I push the blue it pushes the blues all the way up here at the bottom and it pushes them all the way down when I go to red and it pushes red up because there's a trade-off here when you push to red you push away from blue that's why it's a circle when you push to green you push away from magenta so you can see these colors kind of fight each other going up and down and the same is true in the gammas um, however these focus on different places these focuses on um, the low colors but when you push it too much the lows push high right and then the gamma focuses on the mid-range colors but when you push the middle too much it pushes high and the same is true for the gain the high colors see how it moves the high ones kind of first and faster but even when you push the high colors far enough uh, it doesn't quite because you're not lifting the bottom floor as much it doesn't quite do it but the high colors um, will affect the bottom colors too when they're pushed all the way because it stretches everything up. You can see it really well demonstrated in this thing here, this um, this uh, <laughs> uh, waveform monitor. So, um, and the offset kind of pushes everything. So the offset just grabs the whole thing and moves it to one color or the other. Now we're going to look at the range limited color wheels. And so for to give you kind of a, an idea, we're going to push this middle one to the magenta and the normal color wheels, the middle one to magenta. And that uh, really kind of wrecks the whole image, right? Now we're going to go to the range limited color wheels and push it to magenta. And you can see something very different happened. Only a certain range pushed to magenta. And like I said, we're doing extreme values to demonstrate the science-y stuff behind this, but um, this is not how you'd practically use them yet. We're going to get there. Uh, but you can see something happened. There's a big difference. So this is the limits over here in the left-hand corner. And you can see this little blue lines right there. Let me move the magenta. The little blue lines, that's the range you're affecting. So if you raise it up, you're affecting more range. So if you have like the whole, almost the whole thing, it's going to feel a lot more like the previous color wheels. But tightening the range up, look at that. So now, See how there's only a little bit of color dancing in the middle? 
because we're only affecting that small little range, which is great when you need like a microcosm of correction, when you don't need to correct everything in it. You just need to kind of find the waveform, find the problem, isolate it, and get rid of it. Uh, so let's see. Uh, when I move the highlights, you can see the highlights move kind of normally, but the highlights don't drop to a certain point. They don't drop uh, lower than the top line here. And the bottom, when I move the bottom, they stop at this bottom line here. So essentially, this is all you're going underneath this arrow is all you're going to affect on the bottom. Remember, see, you can see the dancing, how it's limited. Uh, and then in the middle is all you're going to affect is that little range in the middle. And then the top of all you're going to affect is that range on top. So that's pretty cool. Gives you a lot of tools. So like, let's say you wanted to like take that little color bump right there. You could just kind of go right up to the top of that color bump. We're now the only those little three mountains of the bump are in there. And what that is, that's just this light right here. Um, left to right, you can see there's brighter parts on the left than darker parts on the right, and that looks the same on the um, waveform monitor. So what I'm going to do is, uh, see that purple's really high? We're going to pull away from the purple. Look at that. And when we do that, when we pull away from the purple, we can kind of perfectly join those colors here. So now, while there was a small purple tinge to the background white, now that background white is a perfect white. And that's the power of the range limited color wheels. Something I meant to mention, but I forgot, uh, is when it's limits, when you move these limits around, um, you can also take away the bars. So if the bars are annoying you, you can remove them with this little button right here next to limits. So yeah, like if this video helped you out. Subscribe if you're looking for more videos like this one. If you decide to purchase Vegas Pro 19, if you do so through my affiliates link, that helps out this channel a ton. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.